Tell me, what's wrong? It's nothing. Nothing. I was just thinking about Tennessee and the legal business that I didn't finish. That's oh, hey, come on. Just don't even think it. It's not important. The only important thing now is for you to get some rest. And when you start feeling better, then we'll talk about it. Oh, Frank, what's even mentioned? I'm before? sorry. I didn't. Oh, I just mentioned it to jog your memory. That's all. Hello, Ryan. I, I know, but what? I just. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you see well. Right. Okay. It's your office, Frank. Could you? Could I call him back? Could later, I said it's important. Go on, Frank. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Is there something I can do to help? No, Maeve. It's just, I don't know. It's just everything. I'm just trying to straighten things out in my mind. Well, maybe you're trying too hard. Maybe you should. Don't put any pressure. Alright. Johnny? Yeah. Um. About ten Tennessee and Mr. Quest, that's... Hey, that's Jill, come on, will you? I, I told you not to think about it. Don't concern yourself. No, no, I just... Was there anything that I told you about it? Well, just that you were sending me some mementos that Mike Smith had left. Yes. Frank will be off the phone in a minute. He'll take you home and get some rest, huh? Yeah, well, he hasn't been able to get some much work done traveling around the country. Forget about yeah. it, sweetheart. Mary, will you listen to me? Yes, I know that we're going to be in court. Yes, we will be ready. No. Could you hang on? Could you hang on for a sec? Yeah. Honey, you hungry? Uh, Ma, how about maybe a sandwich or something? Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Chicken on holy toe. Uh, mm -hmm. Sounds great, baby. Thanks. No. <laughs> Hello, Mike. What about that other problem? Yeah, could you... No, no. That's it. That's the word. That's the word. Well, you'll keep me. Uh, you'll keep me posted, right? All right. Thanks, sir. Frank. Yes. Yeah. Was the call about Dakota? Can you just forget about Dakota, please. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Uh, is uh, is Mom making me another sandwich? Do you know what? Um, uh, I'll check and see. All right. Thanks. Uh, Frank, what is it with those cops anyway? When are they going to catch up with that creep? Know. I don't know. They did catch up with the guy in Pennsylvania that treated his wound, so... They, they found Dakota, too? No, they didn't find him. My guess is that he's headed to New York. Yeah? Uh, yeah. He's looking for Jill, huh? Why else would he come? Well, I just hope he walks into this place and looks for her here. I know how to handle people like that. Would you just like calm that? down, and would you please not mention his name around her? It upsets her. Yeah, all right. Um, your mom's fixing your sandwich. Do you want to start with half of mine? Great. No, listen, no. that looks, uh... That looks really good. I think I'll have her make me, too. How about I get you some soda to go with that, huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. You got it. What is it? Um, uh, uh Maeve, I've got to go talk to Mama right now. Francis! I know how to get there. No, well, I can do it on you the want way. to see Ben? Listen, I'll take you. Just okay. hang on. Ma, could you? Thank you. Ma, thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll go. See y'all later. Yeah. Okay. Okay.
You go unpack your suitcase. Mm -mm. I can do that later. It's okay, Mom. I think I'll go get some milk. Now, tell me more about why you were so upset. What happened? Mama, some of the things that I, I'm starting to remember, they, they just don't make much sense to me. Oh, baby, I'm sure it's all so overwhelming. But if you'll just give it a little time, I'm no, sure everything will fall into place. Mama, I don't, I don't have time. I need to understand now what's going on. Tell me. Did I send you a package from Tennessee? She was over there. Hm. We didn't see her leave, did you? No, as a matter of fact, Francis and Jillian were by, so we got so involved with Are Jillian. Are she okay? Jill will 
She's a bit shaky in some areas, but it's understandable considering what she's been through. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, would you uh, like me to look in the ladies' room to check to see if your girlfriend's there? Would you do that for me? Sure. She was supposed to meet me here. Surely. What do you know about that girl? Rachel? Not a whole lot, except she's full of uh, surprises. Oh, yes. Well, I'll look. Did you get Ryan on the train all right? Mission accomplished. And you called the convent to make sure that Sister Mary Jo is going to meet her at the train station. You stage. loosen up, Ryan's going to be safe. I even asked the conductor to keep an eye on him. Great. That's great. You want some lunch? No, look, um, I'd like some answers here. Ryan says this guy that attacked her was medium height, brown hair, brown eyes. She thinks. But she can't remember anything else. So? So why don't you tell me what you remember about it? Let's get a lousy left hook. She also said that she'd never seen him around the hospital before. Have you? Not that I recall, no. Would you try to think a little harder? Give me a break, okay? I deal with numbers all day, not people. I don't understand you, Treat. What's to understand, huh? Just a simple guy trying to make a living. Nothing complicated about me. Treat. This isn't a joke. This guy that attacked Ryan, he could have... Yeah, but he didn't, okay? Look, Ryan is all right. He didn't hurt her, he just scared her. Yeah? Well, what about the next girl he attacks? Maybe she's not gonna be as lucky as Ryan was, having someone there to help her out. This guy's a real pervert, and you're acting like it's no big deal. Look, I am just as concerned as you are. The fact is, everything happened so fast that all I could think about was decking the guy. I didn't get his vital statistics, okay, Rick. Okay. I mean, maybe he, uh, maybe he learned his lesson, okay? Maybe he's never gonna do anything like this again. Look, if I pull the personnel file, do you think you can ID the guy? Yeah, okay, I'll give it a shot. But ten bucks says he's not even on staff, and fifty more says he is long gone. If I'm gonna put fifty bucks down, then I find this guy. I'm not giving up, Treat. This guy is really scum. And he's not gonna get away. Okay. All right, buddy, I'll do anything I can to help. But take it easy, okay? Yeah, right. Uh, since I'm going to the kitchen, do you boys want anything? No, thank you. I'll ask John if Melinda left a message with him. Thanks. John. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you come in. <laughs> no wonder. You were a million miles away. Yeah, well, here I am now. What would you like? Any orders or what? No, no, no. Um, Rick wants to know if uh, Melinda left a message with you. I wouldn't mean no. What, uh, what were you thinking about when I came in? Um, uh, Jillian. Just hope this guy isn't going to cause her any more trouble. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. He's long gone. Well, according to Frank, he's probably on his way back to New York. Oh, did you know that? No, Frank didn't want to upset her. I just think those two have had enough trouble in their lives. Why doesn't this guy let well enough alone? Don't get all worked. Well, I'm just mad about it, that's all. I'm real mad about it. I mean, Frank and Jill deserve a chance to get their lives back on track without this guy coming around, confusing her. What are you suggesting? That Jill still has feelings for no, that Dakota? No, I'm not suggesting that at all. It's just that, well, you saw the delicate state she's in. John, what is this? Uh, I guess I should be honest with myself at least. I tell you, it's, it's just not this Dakota I'm mad at. I'm mad at myself. I can't help but feel that I'm responsible for Jill's state. How in the world could you be responsible for the girl? He hit her head. That's how she lost her memory. I know. I just feel responsible. Some of her pain, some of her confusion. I mean, you saw the look on her face when Frank asked her about Meg's bequest and a trip to Tennessee. Look, she looked like she'd seen a ghost. She can't remember everything. That's why she's so distressed. I think Meg's sister told her about me and Meg. Yes. Yes, you did send a box. Well, did you open it? Well, no, I didn't open it. You asked me not to. Did I tell you what was in it? 
Yes, you, you, well, you, you said you'd done some early Christmas shopping and, uh... No, no, I, I don't remember shopping. You don't remember what you put in the box? <sighs> Mama, I don't, I don't know. I just don't seem to re remember. I, maybe it's just all a, a figment of my imagination or something. Jillian, I... No, I, I just don't know what else to think, you know. I, where is the box? I'm sorry for interrupting, but Jill, I was wondering if you'd like some tea or anything. Some tea? Coffee? Oh, what's wrong? Maggie, do you know where my suitcase is? What? You know, what, what happened to my suitcase? I, I need to find it. Well, maybe, maybe you left it in New Jersey, that place you were working? No, I, I remember. I remember Laureline. She told me that I arrived at the restaurant with the clothes on my back and a purse. That was it. You got those clothes at the airport, you know. Yeah, the airport. I did? When Frank and I were looking were looking for you, we asked a lot of people at the airport about you, and this one lady said that, that you had been in her shop, and you got some clothes and makeup and a bunch of things. I remember now. I remember the suitcase is in my locker. It's in my locker at the airport. I remember that, Mama. Key? What? No, no. Oh, well, well, wait, uh, Frank can get someone from, from the office to go down there and get it. No, no, I have to do this. Uh, um, myself. I've got to do it myself. Oh, Jillian, please wait. Jillian, you need some rest. Oh, you've you, you waited this long. I mean, you can take a little bit longer Mama, to get your suitcase. I can't. I can't. I can't wait any longer. I can take you to the airport, Jill. Roger's car's outside. I've got the keys right here. It's an extra set. Oh, now you know Roger doesn't like anyone to use his car. Mama, it's for Jillian. He won't mind at all. Don't worry. Well, well then call, uh, call Frank and have him go along with you. Mama, I can't do that. I need to do this myself. Alone. I don't want him there. I'm going to be all right. Don't worry. Maggie, come on. Come on, think about it. We wouldn't have to wait in line. We'd get free hot dogs and beer. How do you do it? How do you do it? Belinda. Sullivan. Open your eyes to the world each weekday morning with Steve Bell and me on ABC's World News This Morning, just before Good Morning America. How can you make your house legally safe from accidents? This is David Hartman. Tomorrow we'll have some answers. Also, Jeff Bridges, Gloria Steinem, and Lily Tomlin tomorrow on Good Morning America. Tomorrow, when it comes to danger, when it comes to romance, when it comes to mystery, there's only one show, Moonlighting, the perfect romantic comedy. Then a beautiful scientist producing synthetic drugs for a dealer leads Spencer into a death trap on Spencer for Hire. Wednesday afternoon, don't miss I Want to Go Home, an ABC After School special. Will a new confession free Steve? Stay tuned for Loving next.